ladies, um, I'm just doing hopefully a quick video because I've been tagged by Ruth Burt in the TMI um, challenge thingy. Um, TMI means too much information and basically it's a list of 50 questions for you to answer so that people can kind of get to know you a bit I suppose. <laughs> so here we go, I get to talk bubbles for England, yay, <laughs> that's what I'm good at. Right, number one, what are you wearing? Uh, T-shirt, I'm generally quite casual because I don't go anywhere posh so I don't wear so uh, it says beautiful because I am. <laughs> It's got diamantism pink on. Um, it has to be a certain length because it has to go over my huge bottom. So I've got another longer one underneath. Black leggings. <coughs> oh, boots. <laughs> Two extremes I've either got Ugg boots on or I've got stilettos on. It's either one or the other. There's no in between. Um, I'm not showing you my knickers and bras. And I've got um, Chanel number no. 5 on. Uh, ever been in love? Yes, I am very much in love with my husband. He is the love of my life and it's absolutely divine. Ever had a terrible breakup? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Before um, I met my husband, I had a very, 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 very nasty breakup. It was awful. And it was a very, very difficult time for me and my two older girls. It wasn't pleasant and it wasn't nice at all. Um very very difficult time for me I, sometimes when I think back you know when you like go through something quite hard and you think back and you think blimey I don't know I didn't crack up but we're survivors aren't we I got through it and uh, now I'm happy everything happens for a reason how tall are you I am five foot two and three quarters five foot three <laughs> but medical people say five foot two and three quarters um, how much do you weigh? Oh, a bit much at the moment. I'm a little bit podgy. I could do with shifting a few pounds, but I'm not fussed. It's, you can see it on my arms. I'm just under 10 stone. Uh, any tattoos? One. A very, very tiny Chinese symbol. Just on my uh, like pelvis bone at the front. And it says uh, my husband's name in Chinese. Now, I got it quite... Not long after we met, really. It was a bit of a silly thing to do. Um, but I thought to myself, well, it's Chinese, so if we fall out, I'll just say it says somewhere else. <laughs> Not that you'll know. Any piercings? Yes, I've got my ears pierced. Three times, actually. But I don't really wear the third one. Um, I've now, sometimes got ear earrings in the second one. But I don't think I've worn the the third ones for years because they, they're quite close to cartilage and it irritates me but I mean I've, I had them done I think I had the last lot done when I was about 15 and I've also got my tummy button pierced um, that I had done again a very 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 long time ago um, OTP one true pairing what does that mean one true pairing is that like your soulmate that would be my husband um, we were meant to be together to be honest, because, um, you know, when you meet somebody and you talk, and it's, we've always lived in very close proximity to each other, so how our paths didn't meet until I was 30, I don't know, um, because all his life he's lived in a house quite near to where I lived, um, his grandma lived near a house, and literally round the corner from another house that I lived in, um, He's worked in areas very close to where I've worked. When he was married, he lived literally about 12, 12 doors round the corner and up, up the main road from where I lived. But I never knew him. I never met him before uh, until 10 years ago. So it was a bit like sliding doors. It could have gone either way. <laughs> um, Favourite show? I don't watch a lot of TV. At the moment, I'm quite liking The Voice. Because I've got a bit of a soft spot for Will I Am. He's just cute. And I just think he's right endearing. I don't know why. I just think he's funner. Um, but I mostly watch, um, if I watch anything, I watch um, crime dramas, NCIS, CSI, um, things like that. Um, and I also do like Downton Abbey. I've got them on box set though. I don't watch them on telly. I don't like watching series on telly because I'm an impatient person and I can't wait another week to watch the next one. So I get a box set and I'll sit and watch them all. Just watching my time. <coughs> Favourite bands? 
Um, not really into music as much as I used to be, but I, I do like female singers. I used to really like Lady Gaga. Um, I really, really like um, Bad Romance. I used to really, really, really like Beyonce when she first came on the scene. And Christina Aguilera. You know, mostly female singers rather than bands. Um, something you miss. Um, I miss um, my friend Jula. Uh, Favourite song? Favourite song? Uh, I don't know really. I don't really have a favourite song. Um, the one that we're listening to all the time at the moment is Wishing on a Star. Um, it's on a CD in the car and Alexia always asks for it. Put number 10 on, put number 10 on so you're just listening to it over and over and over again. <laughs> How old are you? I am 40. Um, but in my head I'm about 5. <laughs> what zodiac sign are you? I'm a Leo. My birthday's in August, so I'm a Leo. Um, quality you look for in a partner. Um, honesty and patience. I think you need a lot of patience to be with me. I'm quite testing, quite um, outspoken. So honesty and patience. Favourite quote. I'm not massive on quotes. Um, there is one by Marilyn Monroe where it basically says that, um, you know, uh, she's demanding and she's hard work. But if you can't take her at her worst, you don't deserve her at her best. I quite like that quote, but I can't remember it off by heart. Because like I said, I'm not massive on quotes, but I do like that one. Favourite actor, Cameron Diaz. She just makes me laugh. Uh, Favourite colour? Pink! <laughs> I'm black. I do like black as well. If I haven't got pink on, I've got black on. Uh, loud music or soft? What do you think? Music only has two volumes for me. On and off. <laughs> uh, where do you go when you're sad? I just go inside. I just go into myself. Um, I don't go out. I don't bother with anybody. I just like to be on my own and... Um, either do my crafting or just sit and watch YouTube. But it's not very often I get very, very, very down, to be honest. Not anymore. Not anymore. My, li my life's pretty good. I can't complain. How long does it take you to have a shower? About three seconds. Because if I don't be quick, when I'm having a shower or a bath, Alexia takes her clothes off and gets in with me and starts washing back and there's Barbies in and all sorts. <laughs> <laughs> How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? About five minutes. Because me and Alexia have worked out that we can stay in bed till 8 o'clock. She starts school at 10 to 9. The latest we can get out of bed is 8 o'clock. And then we just spend the next three quarters of an hour running around the house like lunatics going, We're late, we're late, we're late. <laughs> so I tend to just throw my clothes on and do like my hair and my makeup and stuff later on. <laughs> um... <laughs> she sat here laughing. <laughs> Ever been in a physical fight? Yes, once. A very, very long time ago with my ex's sister. She's not a right nice person. Not very nice at all. I won't anyway. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not an. I'm not aggressive that way. I might be aggressive with my, with my mouth, but I'm not physically aggressive. Um. La -la -la. Reasons I joined YouTube. Right. The, and this is the God's honest truth. The reason I joined YouTube was so that I could comment on Fiona Jennings's um, videos. I used to go on and look at stuff for information to do. The, the first thing I started looking on YouTube for was boutique style bows. Um, because I used to make headbands. And then I watched some tutu um, tutorials. And then I came across Fiona's by accident. And, um, and I just thought she was funner. Um, and also she had an accent not dissimilar to mine. Um, like some filming. Oh, she's in bathroom running water. Um, so that's that is why I I made a um, channel. Uh, fears. Um, the only thing that worries me is being on my own. I don't like to be on my own. Um, but you know I've got my children, so I never will be. Um, last thing that made you cry. The last thing that made me cry was um, to be honest, I'm quite um, quite soppy. 
And um, I was watching Karen McClure's um, slideshow this morning with the family on and the pictures of herself. And it just <laughs> made me a lump in my, you know, in my throat. And like, I'm like that, nearly crying. I'm like, what's wrong with you? And then before that, it was blooming Ruth and Amy um, when I got the lovely entries. And just thinking, you know, just when you think about how pe other people have thought about you, it's just real touching and it, it's just lovely. So I cry a lot when I'm happy, <laughs> rather than when I'm sad. Sounds a bit mad, that. Um, last time you said you loved someone, probably about five minutes ago. I say it a lot. You know, um, I love all my friends. I love my, um, my daughter and my grandchildren. I just, you know, and I, and I, and I will say that I, I do, you know, I do love people, you know, because if you're, my, if you're a friend... And I care, I care, you know, I care about people very deeply and I get attached very, very, very much to people. Simple as that. Um, meaning behind your YouTube name speaks for itself, really. I'm tight. I don't like spending a lot of money. And if I can think of a way of doing something cheaper and scrimpers, a scrimper is somebody that, that um, can make money go far. Or think of ways to make things without it costing any money, and then I just put mommy on mom, mommy on the end because it's a bit American, scrimping mommy, and um, because I am one and I've been a mum since I was seventeen, so that that's part of who I am. I'm a mum. Um, what else? Last book you read was oh, it's upstairs. I can't think of the name of it. And it's like a true story one, and it's about um, a guy when he was growing up in the um, 50s in Ireland. I can't for life, Eric something or other, I can't remember it, what it's called. Uh, where am I? Last show you watched, the last thing I watched on the TV was The Voice last weekend. The relationship between you and the person you last texted. That is uh, the last person, oh, texted. That would be my daughter saying that I was on the way. Um, and the last person I emailed was Karen McClure. Favourite food, curry. I love curry. That's why I've got big arms. And I live near Bradford. So what can I do? It's not my it's not my fault. I just love it. Uh, place you want to visit. I don't know. I'd really like to go to... Well, it was always Pompeii. That's where I always wanted to go. That was like my dream dream place because I'm a history buff. But I went last year. I was lucky enough to go. Um, so I don't know now. I'll have to think of another. <laughs> Egypt. Um, last place you were. Well, I went to the Med. It was my 40th. So my husband booked an absolutely amazing, amazing holiday. And we went to um, the Amalfi Coast. And we went to Cannes. And we went to... Um, uh, where else did we go? Santorina, Salerno, um, uh, Isla Capri, and what's that one? Wick Casino one. Monte Carlo, went to Monte Carlo as well. Leaning Tower of Pisa, it was like a tour. Amazing, it was stunning. So that that was from a 40th. So that's the last place was Europe. Um, where am I? Do you have a crush? Uh, no, I don't think so. Not a moment. Last time you kissed someone? Probably about an hour ago. Kissed my grandkids goodbye. And the little boy didn't want to kiss my junior. But Imogen always gives me a big kiss. Last time you were insulted? Um, I've got quite a funny story for that one. Um, but I'm on 14 minutes so I'm going to come back. And I'm going to do a part two.